Hi there, Aramita from the Quigley team. In this video, we will be going over how to build a show hide header on scroll. But first, what is it and how does it work? A show hide header on scroll is a header that shows slash hides depending on the scroll position and what has been set up. The most common use of it, which you've probably already seen before, is where the header is fixed at the top of the page. Once you scroll down, the header disappears or slides up out of view. But once you scroll back up a little, it reappears at the top of the page, allowing you to interact with it without having to scroll back up to the top. In Quickly, this is achieved with a fixed header and the use of the scrolling direction property. A fixed header is a header that remains at the top of the user's page, whether they scroll up or down. This is accomplished thanks to a fixed position, which is a property that specifies the position of elements in relation to the viewport, meaning that elements always stay in the same place, even if the page is scrolled up or down. Having a fixed header can be great, but it takes up screen real estate, which is important to remain conservative with to ensure a positive user experience. This is where the scroll direction property comes into play. The scroll direction property allows you to apply a scroll direction and specify the action, slide up or reset position, a tolerance, an offset, and a transition duration. In this video, we will be applying the scroll direction property to a header. However, you can add it to any block slash element you desire, allowing for maximum flexibility. Now, let's get building. Here we are in the Gutenberg editor. I have already built this pleasant fixed header for our site's front page. For the moment, since its position is fixed, when I view my front page, the header remains at the top of the page. We will of course be adding a scrolling direction. To do so, we can head to the Advanced tab and find the Scroll tab. Here we can select the Scroll Direction tab. Always remember to activate it by selecting the toggle. Navigating to the Action property, we can simply select the Scroll Down Slide Up parameter, which as you can guess, once we scroll down, our header will slide up out of view, and then slide back down when we scroll up. You can leave it at this, but I like to add a transition duration for a smoother feel. Lastly, I will add a top offset because I don't want my header to immediately slide up after scrolling down. Let's check this out on the front end. Et voilà! Our header starts out at the top of the page. Once we start scrolling, it slides up out of the place. Then scrolling back up, it slides down, allowing us to interact with it. As for the offset property we set at the top, when we scroll down past 150 pixels, the header slides up out of view. As you can tell, setting up the show hide header is effortless and quickly. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to let us know down below. See you next time. Bye.